folks, this is a short video explaining how to set up a module-wide wiki activity. If you'd like to set up a wiki activity for smaller groups of students, I'm going to cover that in a separate video. So, first of all, with the wiki activity we'd like students to complete, in this scenario it's going to be uh, lab notes, so we're going to ask students to engage with the activity in the study materials area. So we're in the study materials area and we need to go to the tools option and you'll see that wikis is one of the interactive tools listed. So we click on wikis, we're going to create a new wiki and we're call, going to call it lab notes and uh, the other thing that might be good to include in there is how often you expect students to engage with this so we're going to say weekly lab notes. In this instructions area, I recommend explaining to the students what the expectations are, how often they should post, um, lengths of posts, and then include any prompts for sort of engaging with the wiki itself, um, who the students should go to if they have questions, and links to help materials about how to use the wiki tools. So there's some really great materials on the Blackboard website about how to use the wiki tool uh, aimed at students. So you could link to those. I'd also recommend while you're here, once you've written these instructions, that you copy them. So if I copy them and paste them into a little notepad, so I can paste them into this notepad that I had ready, um, because we're going to want to use them again in a few minutes when we create the student facing link. It's really just helpful to reiterate these instructions wherever we can. Um, we want the wiki to be available. I'm not going to set any date and time restrictions at the moment. Um, you can also set those on the link itself, which is a good idea so you don't end up with two layers of restrictions, but that's up to you. Uh, the student access, we're going to leave it open to editing uh, because we want students to edit for a period of time, but it's good to know that we could close it off at some point when we no longer want students to continue editing. Uh, the students are going to be able to comment on each other's work. And in this case, we're not going to be marking this wiki. It's just a formative exercise that we want students to engage with. But because it is a formative exercise, I would recommend that in your instructions you include how this relates to any assessment they're going to be completing. So how will this formative exercise allow students to do better or to improve their work for the final assessment? For example, then I click Submit. And then this part is actually creating the student facing link to the wiki so that students can get into the wiki. So we just make sure that that's selected there and then hit next. And in the wiki case, it actually took over the, uh, the text, but quite often with the other types of activities, it doesn't take over the text. So that's helpful. I learned something new just now. And uh, in this case, we just want the wiki to be available right away, but if we wanted to restrict the access dates, we could on the link itself. So we hit submit, and now we've got our weekly lab notes link. And if we want to move that up in the list, we can use the reorder tool on the top right hand side there to move that up. Now, one thing I always recommend with wikis is get some starter page going, pages going as an instructor. So, for example, one way that I've used wikis in the past um, is to have a glossary and then set up pages for each of the concepts. In this case, with the lab notes, you might set up um, pages for each week. So then you could say... So that I've written in there week one lab notes and observations and then I could structure this post around different points that I wanted the students to sort of reflect upon and just get them to write like little responses to each of those prompts as an example So I can put some space between those so that this nice, if I just uh, turn off the bullet point tool, in fact, uh, answer here and maybe make that bold. 
so you get the idea um, I'm just going to delete those but I just wanted to give you an idea of how you would kind of get this started so if we just copy these down and it does work quite well I've uh, used sort of word documents as a starting point before so sort of pasted in a um, a form from Word and then adjusted it using this tool here which removes sort of strange formatting so that can be a way if you've already got some kind of lab notes set up for offline and you're doing something now online um, you might be able to transfer over some of that pre-existing material um, so I'll just change that to two and three so then we hit submit so you'll see that the week one ob observations show up here and students will be able to, all the students in the module will be able to edit this wiki content and, and add to it. So it might be helpful for me to show you an example of how that looks when students edit. So if I go into student preview mode, I can edit this page and show you an example of how that's going to look. So now if I go into study materials as a student and go into weekly lab notes, I can see, oh, this is here. And again, it never hurts to kind of reiterate in the actual page itself what you expect students to do, uh, which I didn't do, but you can do. So then I click on edit wiki content and I'm going to put, and you can see I can delete things uh, that the instructor has written, but all of these changes are going to be tracked in the tool. Um, So this is me saying like, what have I done this week, for example. Then I can hit submit. Um, and what's quite nice is in the student view, they can actually keep track of what their contributions are. So if you click on the My Contribution button as a student, you actually get to see like which, which things have you added to, how does it compare to the prior versions, how many words have you added. So students can get an overview of how, how they're engaging and kind of realize where they might have gaps. So that's something to bear in mind. Now I'm gonna come back out of student view now and show you the instructor view so you can see how I can have a look at how this student has engaged. So if I just keep the preview user and come back in as an instructor to study materials, go into weekly lab notes, and in the instructor view, I have this thing called participation sum summary. So I can go into participation and I can have a look and have click on that user and see what they've done. So this is very similar to that student view, except now it's um, looking at it from an instructor perspective. So you can see what the version of the document that the student interacted with as compared to version one. So you can see that uh, this is sort of who created version one, who created version two, and um, sort of what, when it happened. So it's quite helpful to see that and how many words were added. So that is how you can track participation in wikis, and that is how you can create a wiki tool. Now if you need to edit the wiki in any way and change the settings you can access that through the course tools area um, down at the bottom wikis will allow you to manage all the wikis across your module. Uh, so if you need to edit those properties we set up initially it's the edit properties option and then that takes you back to this page where you've got all of the options so you might say it's close to editing for example later on in the module when you no longer want students to add anything else to the wiki okay that about sums it up thank you very much for watching